Why is it every time they see you, you're always looking so, so serious? Don't be like that. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Have you not seen your pastor always smiling? It doesn't matter. You know what? The devil gets mad when you smile. He always wanted you to cry. He always wanted things not to work out. And he's wondering, despite all the attack, he's smiling. And I look at the devil. I said, devil, don't you understand? In all those things, we are more than conquer. Something goes wrong. You say, Satan, weeping may endure for a night. I lost my job for a night. I lost my money for a night. I have my troubles for a night. But guess what? The night time is a short time. The night is over now. Joy. Somebody say joy. Come out in the morning. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. They say, America has banned Dropbox. Everybody must appear. Can't they have refused visa? Schengen visa difficult. Say, don't worry. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. When it's time for me to move, the door will open. Why will he open? He's the one that opens the door and no man can shut it. He's the one that shuts the door and no man can open it. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. He's another king of glory coming. Who is this king of glory? The Lord mighty, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah! I said hallelujah! Our strong is strong and mighty. Is the God listen to me? Some people think they are powerful because they come they command an European army. Because they command the Israel army. Our God is a commander of the angel army. Angel army. Not just army, angel army. Hallelujah. I said, it's the one that sits and wins battles while sitting down. Glory to God. Do you have two more minutes? Sit down. Glory to God. Oh, glory. Oh, hallelujah. So says, okay, Pastor, I've heard you. How do I receive healing? I need a baby. I have asthma. How do I? I said, with the word. What do I do with the word? Colossians 3.16. What do I do with the word? Because the question, so the question is this, Pastor, I'm sick. I have someone that is sick that I'm believing God for healing. How do I get them to receive healing? The first thing you do is to get the word. The next thing you do is to begin to intensely and aggressively meditate in the word and believe the word. Oh my God. See what it says. He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you what? You know why? Because the way the word dwells in you is your decision. It's not God's decision. So it tells you, let the word enter. Some of you, the word is inside like a visitor. Let me give you an example. <laughs> you know, when, when ladies want to make chicken, all of you that are married, you know this. When they want to really give you good food. When you want to make chicken, they will take the chicken and soak it in the sauce for three or four days. It's called marination. When they marinate, what happens? The sauce enters the chicken deep down. The chicken and the sauce become inseparable. Are you here? When you eat that kind of chicken, my God, every bite is sumptuous. But there are chicken that you eat that the sauce is only on top. Same chicken, but sauce did not enter. When it says, let the word of God dwell in you, it says, marinate yourself in the word. He said, let the source of the word enter. Let the source. You know the problem with you? You come to church. When you come to church, that's not enough for marination. Marination is something you have to do by yourself. For three or four days, you go to the word. This is how you get healed. You begin to look at it. 
by the stripes of Jesus and healed. You, you begin to confess it. You begin to dream it. What are you doing? Marination. What are you doing? Marination. What are you doing? Marination. Marination. But many of you, you only remember that you are even ill when you come to church. Oh, I'm not healed. Oh, let me pray about it. No. <laughs> you, you, know what, you know what comes to my mind when it comes to marination? Suya. When you buy correct suya, you can't separate the suya and the pepper. The pepper has entered the suya. The suya has entered the pepper. You can't separate it. When you get the word, the word has entered inside you. You are inside the word. Watch this now. Sometimes someone say, ah, man, I don't like suya. Someone will take the suya and say, I don't like suya. And hit it. And, Does it work? Why? Pepe has entered. When Pepe enters, whatever comes out of suya is Pepe. Why? You've loaded your heart. See, see, you load your heart with healing scriptures. And the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, what? Mouth speaks. It also says, out of the abundance there flows the issues of life. So, out, because you have loaded healing inside, every time you want to talk, healing manifests. Guess what? Not only about healing. If you struggle with your finances, if you look, how do you know finances? Said, find scriptures that has to do with finances. Keep talking it morning, afternoon, and night. Where is it? I want to load. This is the water gun. I load it. Inside this water, I've loaded water of healing. You know what happened? I'm going to spray the choir. No, I'm not spray the choir. I'm going to sing. I'm going to spray those on the first show. What do I know in this place? I know people like this. So, you know, you know what happens? What will come out of this gun is what I put inside. Yes or no? If I put nothing inside, what will come out? But now that I put something, what happened? See, I'm spraying them. I'm spraying them. Praise God. I, well, I should spray you right here. Right? <laughs> Listen to this. What comes out of you is what you put inside. If you put prosperity inside, prosperity will come out. If you put health inside, health will come out. If you put joy inside, joy will come out. Hello, brother, speak, come. Let me spray you. You need some spray. Glory to God. Come on, come on the stage. This man has been believing for some mega finances. So you know what I've been doing? So this is his heart. This is his heart. He's been going to Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hallelujah. He makes me not in green pastures. He has been declaring Psalm 1. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Is what it is. When he what, what will his heart produce? He will just be producing prosperity. You see, he will just be producing prosperity because he has already. You know the problem? The problem is that most of us, you are. Thank you, sir. You are not loading your heart consciously. When they say come on music service, you not come. It's for loading. When they say buy tapes, you not buy. It's for loading. You need to load. Even when you follow social media, they say, I don't follow pastors, I follow other people. Don't follow. They will keep loading you. You now wonder, why is your, <laughs> why is your life playing as on toe? It will play more than as on toe. Your life is playing as on like this. It's playing as on like this. <laughs> it needs loading. How do you load? Giving attention to the word. Paying attention to the word. In the morning, meditating, confessing the word. In the evening, confessing the word.